officially winter here in Canada. So uh, I snow blowed the driveway a couple times. Now it's time to maybe uh, work on some droids. So uh, let's get started into this episode where I'm going to show you the uh, magic panel that I put together. Well, welcome to this episode of my R2 build. Um, we're going to be looking at the magic panel that I'm putting together for for this guy. And uh, first of all, I'd like to thank Patrick Rod from Astromech. He's provided me with files for uh, the magic panel mount. This is a resin printed one that I did. And uh, also the lens. So I'll uh, just kind of show you how I put that together and what I'm using for the electronics. So um, as far as the, the mount goes, um, I modified it a little bit. There's these tiny little holes here for mounting his system um, together. And what I did is I filament printed this one with some M3 bolts or in the heat inserts here for M3 bolts. And um, they're the really shallow M3 heat inserts. Uh, this one kind of went through a little bit on the side, but for the most part, it's holding together. And for the magic panel, you don't really see any of it um, aside from the lens. And even the lens itself, you don't see that because it's covered with uh, a vinyl sticker. Um, for the lens, there's this little ridge right here that um, pushes through whatever hole you make. So then you have to make the hole in your, uh, well, I have to make the hole in my aluminum uh, dome, the inner dome to fit this so that it'll stick through and still be flush with the inner dome. Um, so what I did is I printed that at two millimeters um, because my dome is two millimeters thick and then I took it one step further. I, I printed this in a clear PLA, which didn't turn out that great, but it does let, allow light through. And I printed that at 1.7 thickness right here, because what I'm going to do is um, I found a bunch of this. This is um, a vinyl sticker that looks like brushed aluminum. And when I add that to the front of the panel, um, it's 0.3 millimeters thick. So then that'll be an overall thickness of uh, two millimeters. So I'll show you how that works in a minute. So basically, um, this will just pop onto there like that, fit in there, and that'll be my magic panel. Now for the electronics, I'm gonna fill this with NeoPixels and rather than make my own uh, matrix of NeoPixels, um, I've used these a lot. This is a sheet of NeoPixels that you can break off into individual ones or rows or columns or a whole array. And um, that's what I did. Um, I built this system here, which uses a four by six array of NeoPixels. And that fits in, pop this off here, uh, back here uh, pretty good. So I'll show you how that works. So, um, I made this mount for it. So the NeoPixels actually um, pop into here when they're all wired together like that. Then that gets mounted to here with um, some M3 bolts. And the M3 bolts are like this. They're 12 millimeters long. Before that happens, um, we're going to put the back panel on and then bolt it all together. So the back panel holds the electronic system. So what I have is I have a spot for Arduino Nano, a surge capacitor, and a terminal strip. So um, what it looks like is the following. Let me just pop this guy out. and show you how the electronics go together. So then Arduino Nano pops in there. I have a thousand microfarad 
electrolytic capacitor that goes into there and the terminal strip goes into there and that'll just be glued together. Now, best practice is having this capacitor when you have a lot of NeoPixels um, to take the surge, the power surge. So I thought I'd throw that in. And then my output from my Arduino Nano should go the, to the very first NeoPixel should go through a 470 ohm resistor. So I've got it uh, soldered into pin four of my Nano. And then I just have a four terminal strip here. Uh, one is for five volts in, ground, and then a serial in and serial out if I want to use those. Don't necessarily have to with my system. So uh, there's three ways to power a Nano. You can use the USB port. Um, you can use the voltage in, which is seven to 20 volts, I believe, something like that. Um, but because I'm powering these NeoPixels with exactly five volts, and I just want to have one power source coming in, I'm going to power the Nano with the five volt pin. I have to be careful with that because it's not regulated. Um, so it has to be a regulated five volts coming in and for it to function properly without burning out. So uh, I'll just put this together and then uh, show you uh, what it looks like. All right, let's take a look at the wiring diagram for the magic panel. Uh, it's pretty easy. I've got a Arduino Nano right here and it's uh, hooked up to positive and negative through the five volt pin and the ground. Uh, do not use the V in unless you're coming in with more than five volts. But in this case, I have to come in with exactly five volts because the NeoPixels all run off five volts and uh, no, uh, no more. The regulated 5 volt supply will provide enough power for this and this as long as the amperage uh, puts out enough. Now, best practice for new pixels that are, are quite a few together is you need two things. You need a 1000 microfarad capacitor hooked up to the positive and negative rails, as well as a 470 ohm resistor from your output pin, which in this case is D4 and that runs to the very first uh, NeoPixel. So it comes to the input there, the output goes to the input of the next, the output goes to the input of the next, and so on and so on, all the way down the row. When you get to the last NeoPixel in that row, just run a wire to the first NeoPixel in the next row and continue on. Uh, the positive rails are all connected here, the negative rails all connected here. So you have enough, you have power going to this NeoPixel array. Now you could just um, hook up um, or download a sketch, standalone sketch to run all of these uh, blinkies if you want. But uh, what I'm going to do is probably use the hull projector sketch and just have my RX come in, my serial uh, line come in, and it'll activate various patterns on this array. You just have to make sure that your ground is hooked up to the ground of uh, wherever your, your um, serial lines coming in as well. So um, they understand each other. So that's my setup. I'll show you now what it looks like with some uh, lights. Okay, here it is put together. I've got um, my electronics board in the back. I've got the NeoPixel holder sandwiched in between. I've installed my M3 by 12 bolts. And then uh, you can see the uh, Neo NeoPixels there. Now, as far as the sketch goes that runs this, I'm, it doesn't have a dedicated magic panel sketch right now. Could in the future. What I'm going to do is, I'm, like I did with my radar eye, I'm going to run the hollow projector sketch on this Nano. And um, the hollow projectors run off the pins two, three, and four, um, four being the top hollow projector. And that's what I'm going to use on this one. So I chose that one because it doesn't run very often. Um, the patterns are infrequent, which is kind of what I want for the magic panel. I don't want it to be on all the time doing different things. But for now, what I've done is I've just put a temporary sketch on there just to show you what the uh, lights look like. So let me just turn on the power supply. and uh, put my lens on, okay, that's with the lens. Now 
And then let's try it with covering it up with the vinyl. So that's kind of how it's going to look once it's on the dome. And this is not full brightness, this is at 50%. So uh, I can turn it up if I need to, but I'll figure that out later when it's all installed. So uh, that's my magic panel. Hope you like it. Um, now I've done all of the uh, lighting system for the dome. My next step is to cut out panels for my um, servos. Um, I'll just Kind of been afraid to do that, but I guess you got to take the plunge and get started with that and um, put all my moving panels in. So, uh, thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. I uh, hope you learned something in this or maybe use part of uh, my build in your build. Uh, please stick around for our thought for today and uh, happy building. We'll see you real soon.